Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new, then welcome. Um, I'm a yoga teacher and obviously we're going to be doing some yoga today. So today is going to be a vinyasa flow, more on the shorter side, but quite powerful. So if you don't have a lot of time, this is going to be perfect for you. If you're a very beginner, it might be moving faster paced at the end of it, but I do go through all the poses um, and we hold all of them before we flow, so you should be able to follow along. Um, you don't need anything today except for your mat and yourself, no blocks, no nothing. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start in child's pose. So knees apart, big toes together. Forehead can rest down on the mat, fingertips can reach forward. And just start to connect to your breath here. So just taking a moment to ground yourselves. And we can start by taking three deep cleansing breaths, just releasing anything that happened during the day. Arriving on the mat, letting go of anything that does not belong in this moment. So deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. And two more, deep inhale, the biggest inhale you can possibly take through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth, let it go. And starting to connect to your ujjayi breath or just really deep inhales and exhales in and out through your nose. Ujjayi breath, if you're not familiar with it, is constricting the back of your throat to create an audible sound to the breath. It's going to create some friction, some internal heat, and get us ready for the practice today. Let's take three more breaths here, reaching actively through the fingertips. On your next inhale, let's slowly make our way up to tabletop. And we're just going to start to move in cat and cow. So breathing in, dropping the belly, pulling the chest forward, gazing up. Exhale to round the spine one vertebra at a time. Press through your hands. Inhale to open up the heart. Exhale to round. Right, let's take three more rounds here. Breathing in. And exhale to round the spine. All right, the last two. And exhale to round. Right, last cycle of breath here. And exhale round. Right, let's come back through a neutral spine. Tuck your toes underneath your heels. Let's lift the knees off the mat and hold for five, four, three, two, one, release. Let's just start to rock back and forth, gently stretching the wrists. You wanna keep your arms nice and straight here. Fingertips are spread wide and you're pressing down to the mat with all 10 fingers. And right, now let's come back to stillness. Turn your fingers out. So like point towards the outer edges of the mat and just rock side to side. You might feel this is a little bit of a deeper stretch. And then again, let's turn the fingers towards the knees, palms face up. If this is accessible, hold here. Two more breaths. All right, and then we're going to come back to tabletop. Tuck the toes underneath the heels, lift your knees off the mat. And then let's see if we can lift the right foot off the mat. And then maybe the left hand, just a centimeter or two. 
Hold for three, two, one. Drop your left hand and right foot. Lift your left foot. And then once you have your balance, see if you can lift the right hand. For three, two, one. Now both together, right foot, left hand, lift. Hold, three, two, one. Release left foot, right hand, hold, three, two, one. Good. Let's press up downward facing dog. So straightening the legs or they can stay bent, just lifting the hips, not, uh, the hips up nice and high. And then here you can start to pedal out your feet, bending and straight, straightening the legs, maybe shaking out the head, whatever you need to do to find some space. And on your next inhale, let's come into a high plank. Hold here. And then slowly, for a count of five, let's lower all the way down to the mat. So let's go for five, four, three, two, one. And release. Baby cobra, inhale. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's tend the fingers. Bring the hands on the outsides of the mat. Elbows point up. Lifting from your upper back. Inhale to lift. You can gently press into the fingertips, but the back muscles are doing the bulk of the work. Exhale to lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. High plank. Inhale. The knees can help. So you can keep your knees on the mat. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in. The right leg rises. And just start to roll out your right ankle in one direction and the other. On your next exhale, right knee into the chest. Step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee. Anjanasana, reach the arms above the head. And hold. One more breath here. And on your next exhale, vertical twist to the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. And hold, three. Two, one. See if you can bring your right hand on the back of your left leg. Left arm reaches up. You can even bring it to the ankle. Just make sure you don't feel any compression in your lower back, so you're always lengthening the spine. And on your next exhale, let's cartwheel the hands down. Frame your right foot. Step back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower halfway and hold. One breath. And then lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release, tuck your toes, send the hips back. And up, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here, just nice and straight down dog, lengthening the back of the legs, lengthening the spine. On your next inhale, left leg rises. And just circle your left ankle in one direction. And the other. And next exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot between your hands. Drop your right knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Anjanasana and hold. Three deep breaths. And exhale, vertical twist to the left. Hold. And then for the back bend, left hand on the back of right leg, right arm reaches up. Exhale, let's cartwheel the hands down, frame your left foot, step back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower halfway. Hold. And all the way down, inhale, baby cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, top of the mat. Chair pose, inhale, hold, three breaths. And on your next exhale, let's twist to the right, hold. Here, make sure that your left knee is not overshooting the right, so keep pulling it back. Inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow hooks the left knee, right knee pulls back. Next inhale, back to chair. Last three breaths, airplane chair, hold. Three, two, one. Drop the heels, inhale, high mountain, stand up tall. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower halfway. Hold. Lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. High up onto the toes, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift, top of the mat. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane chair. Reach your arms back, lift the heels. High mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Now let's step the right foot back. Drop the right knee down, reach the arms up, Anjanasana. Three breaths in each pose. Two more. On your next exhale, half splits. Fingertips can come down to the mat. Straighten your left leg, flex the left toes. Find a nice stretch here in the left hamstring. And then we're going to reach the arms back, airplane wings. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your right knee, reach the arms up to the sky. And if you need to make any adjustments from, with the length of your, the space between your feet, feel free to do so. And on your next exhale, vertical twist, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back, squeeze the inner thighs together. And from here, warrior two. So grounding the right heel, let's cartwheel the arms around and hold for three, two, one. Reverse your warrior inhale for three. And last inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step back, three-legged plank, hold. Maybe your right arm reaches forward and hold. Ooh. Three, two, one. High plank, inhale. Exhale, your vinyasa. Whatever variation you feel like doing. And if that means skipping it today, you feel free to do that too. One full breath here. Next inhale, high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. This time, twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, chair. Airplane chair, exhale. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot steps back. Drop the left knee down. Anjanasana, three breaths. Squeeze the left glute to protect the front of the left hip. And always think of lengthening your spine. Exhale, half splits.
And on your next exhale, reach your arms back, airplane wings. Inhale, crescent lunge. Three breaths. And exhale, vertical twist. Three breaths. Here, really squeeze your inner thighs together. Pull your right hip back. And then inhale and exhale, warrior two. Cartwheel the arms. Drop your left heel. The whole body is looking to the left, but your head, your eyes are looking over the middle finger of your right hand. Reverse warrior, inhale, three breaths. And on your exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Come into three-legged plank, and then see if maybe you can lift your left arm. Hold for three. Two, one, exhale, high plank, optional, vinyasa. All the way back to downward facing dog. One breath. And then we're going to do that one breath to movement. So inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float. Top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Airplane chair, exhale. High mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Right foot steps back, exhale. Drop the right knee down, Anjanasana, reach the arms up. Now half splits with airplane wings, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, lift the right knee. Vertical twist, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Warrior two, inhale and exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat, step back, high plank, your vinyasa. Next inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, chair. Airplane chair, exhale. High mountain, inhale. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot steps back, left knee grounds down, Anjanasana, inhale. Air of plain arms, half splits. Crescent lunge, inhale. Vertical twist, exhale. And warrior two, cartwheel the arms. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat, step back, high plank, your vinyasa. And we're gonna go again, except we're going to add on after the warrior two. Inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Inhale, chair. Twist to the left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane chair. High mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Right foot steps back, right knee grounds down, Anjanasana. Exhale, half splits with airplane wings. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. Now from here, prayer squat. Reaching the arms up above the head and hold. For five, four, three, two, and one, skandasana on the right leg. And so bending the right knee, you can always stay on your right toes. 
lifting the right heel off the mat. Try to lengthen your spine here as much as you can. All right, and then let's go into Skandasana to the top of the mat. So bending left knee, straightening the right leg. One more breath, and now we're going to look to the back of the mat, come into a lunge. Left hand is on the mat, right arm reaches up to the sky. So right leg is bent, left hand is on the mat, right arm reaches up, and we're twisted open to the right. On your next inhale, circle your right arm down, step your left foot forward to meet the right chair pose, and hold. And inhale, come into high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step or jump back through a vinyasa of choice. All right, once you're in downward facing dog, one breath here. And then inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step or jump, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Let's twist to the left, exhale. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane chair. High mountain, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. The left foot steps back, left knee grounds down, Anjanasana, inhale. Exhale, half splits, airplane wings. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, prayer squat. Turn your toes out of the left foot. Reach your arms up. Two more breaths here. And now we're going to Come into Skandasana on the left leg first, and we're going to alternate. So inhale and exhale to the right leg, and back. Here, if you want, you can completely straighten your legs and then bend the others, or you can stay as low as possible. Now just go at your own pace. Inhale to come through center. Exhale to come into Skandasana. Let's just go two more times. Inhale and exhale on the right leg. Inhale and exhale, lunge to the top of the mat, ground your right hand, left arm reaches up. So now we're twisted, open to the left. And from here, circle your left arm back, step your right foot forward, chair pose. And inhale, come into high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, last one. And here you can take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Now let's look forward. If you can turn the eyes of your elbows so that they point towards the top of your mat, then you can drop both forearms on the floor at the same time. Otherwise, you can also do one at a time, or you can come into a plank and then drop the forearms. But if you can do it from down dog, let's drop the forearms down and just hold dolphin. Maybe walking the feet a bit closer to the elbows. And let's hold for 10, 9, 8. It's super tough. Squeeze the lower belly in. Lift the hips up higher. 5, 4, 3, 2. 
and one. Drop the knees down on the mat, drop the forehead down, come into child's pose. And you can bring your hands by your feet. Whew. You can close your eyes here. You worked really hard, that was tough. All right, so I hope that you're feeling super energized, the blood is pumping, ready for the rest of your day or tired enough to go to bed, depending on what time of the day you're practicing. It's just nice to move in a way that makes you sweat, releases all that built up energy, and helps clear the mind. And just recentering ourselves through our yoga, yoga practice. All right, we're slowly going to lift the chest off the mat. Wipe the sweat away from your eyes if you need to. You can walk your knees up towards your wrists and then just roll onto a seat. We're going to extend, um, I'm gonna to turn towards you. We're just gonna keep the legs crossed for a moment and fold over your legs. So you can reach your fingertips forward and just relax the head down. Very easy stretch here. It's for the outer hips, very, very gentle. All right, let's slowly walk our way back up. And we're going to extend the right leg out and just fold over the right leg. So the left leg is bent, sole of the left foot is against the inner right thigh. Let's take a deep breath in, and then on your exhale, fold over the right leg. You do not have to come down as low as me. You can stay more upright. You just want to make sure that you're not rounding in your lower back, so you're always lengthening out of the lower back, and you can do that by really using your lower abdominal muscles, squeezing the navel into the spine, really tightening that whole area so it doesn't bend so easily and then reaching the chest forward. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up. Let's side bend over the right leg. So either the right elbow is on the right thigh or on the floor. The left arm will reach up and then over towards the right leg. We're going to take five breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly come up. Let's change sides. So bending the right knee, extending the left leg. Inhale to lengthen over your left leg. Exhale to fold. Squeezing the navel in and keeping that left leg active. So pressing the back of the knee down towards the mat and pulling the toes towards the face. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. And then for the side bend, left elbow on the left thigh or on the floor. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Stretching out that whole right side here, that part of the body over the right hip. Right, on your next inhale, let's come back up. And here you can just bend both of your knees. We're gonna come all the way down to the mat. One vertebra at a time. Good. Once your head touches, you can just make sure you're comfortable. Bring your feet to the outer edges of the mat and knock your knees in together. And you can rest your hands on your stomach and chest. And maybe just knock the knees side to side, giving a little bit of a release to the fronts of the hips.
And now let's bring the knees into the chest. Just extend both of your legs up to the ceiling and then we're going to move both hips to the right. The right knee crosses over the left. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you can also hook the right foot behind the left ankle. Extend your arms out to the sides and then both knees fall over to the left. And you can look over your right shoulder or straight up to the sky. It's okay if the right shoulder doesn't touch the floor. I know it's quite hard in this position, but try to keep both shoulders grounded as much as you can. Relax the legs and breathe into the twist. I should feel a really gentle shoulder stretch as well in the right shoulder. And now let's undo the bind of the legs, come back through center, extend both legs up to the sky, hips to the left, cross your left knee over your right, maybe hook the feet, and then both knees come over to the right, look over your left shoulder. Next inhale, slowly coming back through center, undoing the bind of the legs. And let's just hold the knees in the chest. Very tight squeeze, trying to keep the shoulder blades grounded, keeping the tailbone grounded. And, and then we can come into happy baby, grabbing the outer blades of the feet, and just pulling the knees down into the shoulders, maybe rocking side to side. And then you can feel, if this feels nice, just stay here. But if you feel like you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, then you can go ahead and maybe straighten out the legs. So I would grab the big toes with the peace fingers and then straighten out the legs from there. Only if you feel like this is what your body needs and this feels good. And you can rock side to side. I'm not going to do it because I'm disturbing my poor plant here. <laughs> and then slowly let's re-bend the knees, bring the knees back into the chest. And just give yourself a big hug. Maybe lift the forehead up to your knees. And give yourself a really tight squeeze here as hard as you can, holding the breath, squeezing every single muscle in your body. And then exhale. Letting it go, coming into your Shavasana. Now, if you're practicing in the morning and you have an active day ahead and you don't want to get too relaxed, then I suggest maybe placing your hands on your stomach and chest just so that you stay a little bit more connected and you don't let yourself go. You can follow the rhythmic motion of your breath. But you can also just place your hands on the floor if you want to relax a little more. So just close your eyes, allow yourself to enjoy the after effects of the practice. Just feeling your body temperature cool down, feeling the sweat dry on your face. And just noticing how alive your body feels after movement. How maybe you actually feel all the different parts of your body, tingling sensations in the hands, in the arms. You're becoming more and more aware of your body every time that you show up on your yoga mat. And noticing all these different sensations and feeling overwhelmingly grateful for this amazing vessel that you have to experience life through. Feeling grateful for your body, feeling grateful for the earth beneath you that supports you throughout each and every day.
please stay in Shavasana for however long that you want. If you have a, lef- a lot of time left, please do stay here longer. Challenge yourself a little more. And thank you so much for joining me today for the class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you broke a little bit of a sweat. That was the goal for sure. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the class. And if you did, I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel because it really, really supports me. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.